Hi, this is John Welker with Jerome Cerny Architects. I'm here today doing video number eight in a series that I have been doing on Graphisoft's ArchiCAD and how to get started right out of the box for those of you that uh, just purchased ArchiCAD or are working with the trial version. Um, I'm going to deviate a little bit today from the title um, right out of the box and talk to you about the work environment and how um, I set my work environment up and I thought I would uh, run you through uh, how to set yours up, but I think what I'm going to do instead is uh, open up ArchiCAD with my work environment and talk to you about it and offer uh, to send you an email uh, uh, with the work environment folder file and, and let you um, download it and use it if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to go into the specifics of why I've got it, uh, certain toolbars and palettes uh, set up the way I do, but uh, talk in general and then let you uh, kind of discover it on your own. As most everyone does, after they've been working with ArchiCAD for a while, they tend to massage their work environment. And of course, too, as uh, ArchiCAD upgrades um, from one year to the next, um, you know, you, you probably change your work environment to accommodate maybe either some new tools that they're bringing on or new way of thinking. Um, again, I'm using ArchiCAD 18 and uh, and again, you, you can go out onto the internet and find a lot of different um, opinions on work environments and a lot of different work environments that uh, others are willing to either send you uh, or, or download and I encourage you to you know, look out there. But if you want, you can start with mine and uh, go from there and open up ArchiCAD here. Um, again, I'm on ArchiCAD 18 on my Mac. As it opens up, we'll have the opportunity to make some selections in terms of what we'll do here is we'll create a new project. We're going to use a template. And in this case, I've, it's the sample template. Uh, now that is mine sample template, but for the work environment, uh, we're going to select again sample work environment. Uh, that's mine, not ArchiCAD's. And we're going to say go ahead and open up a new file using both my template, which we'll talk about later, and my work environment. And it opens up with the main window uh, which you know all your work goes on and I've got that set up for the center and then I have these other palettes and toolbars that are on the uh, screen here and I guess you can think of the screen and the work environment as um, your drawing board or for those of you that uh, remember or used a drawing board um, and, and think of it as uh, your tools, be it your mechanical pencil, your triangles, your scale, uh, whatever you had around your eraser shield, your erasers. Um, and so we have all these palettes. Uh, there's about 10 palettes that I have on the screen. There are many more that you could put on. And I have three toolbars uh, and the main window. And just to briefly um, show you that the, these different palettes actually can get connected to each other. Um, but the, this is the standard toolbar right here that I have located up here. This is um, actually been modified. I've taken some of the things out of here. One of the items that was a little icon that was on here was a you know file open. And I don't see the need to have uh, duplicates of things. Uh, and again, all, all, all software has multiple ways of going, going about things. Uh, I just <clears throat> I took that and a few other things off of the standard toolbar, um, and just so you know you know that going in. And, and if you want to go back and get any of those uh, items and put them back on, um, I'll kind of give you a little heads up as to how to do that. Uh, this is a 3D toolbar that's here. This is an attribute toolbar that's over here. Uh, you should be familiar with the organizer a little bit from my previous videos. Down below here we have quick options. The renovation. This is uh, quick layers down here. Um, the two that are down here are the coordinates um, palettes and the um, control palette. These are 
ones that have been around for a long time. Some of the guys that uh, just got into ARCHICAD not too long ago don't tend to use these, but I still like them. I'm just an old guy. And then this is the, uh, uh, the information bar here. If I click on the toolbar over here, and again, you've seen me use it in the, in the past. That's this long skinny one here. Uh, this was the info bar that ran across the top of the screen with uh, ARCHICAD's uh, environment. And I've got mine in the left hand side here and a, another one called Favorites right down snapped below it. And I've turned on a lot more things in each of the tools um, so that I have them here and I don't have to necessarily open up the wall tool like this. There are more things that, you know, for settings that are in each tool, but I've added a tremendous amount to here so that you don't have to jump into that tool um, to, to, you know, add things or make changes um, to the tool. Now, if you want to go look at the, the work environment under ARCHICAD work environment, Many ways to get here too. Again, but we click on that, and I and I suggest you go here and you get a little bit familiar with. But so work environment profiles. Um, we've got my sample one here that's checked, and that's because that's set in mine as a default right now. And then under work environment, there are five different areas that <clears throat> you want to look at and understand what's in here and um, how they're set up. You don't have to, you know, really understand them, but just kind of look at them and like uh, understand like the tracker um, that follows um, my input around when I was doing that. It is set up here to you can always have it on, or you can have it on only when you're putting in information. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other things that you can set, most of which I haven't changed. Guidelines, for instance. If you wanted to have guidelines that show up on a different amount of degrees, I have mine every 15 degrees. You could have set up on every five, on every 10, on every 25, on a 30, whatever you want. You can set that up here. Uh, under company standards, this is another good one to um, take a look at, but it's going to be you know how often your data is saved. I have mine set up for ultra safe. Every step, the the software saves you know my steps and also on an undo limit um, <clears throat> you can set up here if you you know are working on your floor plan and all of a sudden you don't like where it went and you want to undo um, you can go back and undo and undo and undo and in my case I can do it 20 times before it, it hasn't saved anything beyond that you can set that up for something greater you know it takes a little more um, uh, memory but um, that's you know here for you to um, um, change and again uh, there are shortcut schemes keyboard shortcuts if you want to add any different ones uh, most of which you won't you know really probably fool around with if you're using mine you just you'll see what it is and understand where it is so that if you want to go and change it um, the command layout schemes this is where you can change the toolbars and the schemes of the toolbars and again, I won't go into this right now. And, and there are many other videos out there on work environments and how to change and what to change um, if you want to do that. Um, and I'm, I'm always more than happy to, you know, receive an email. And if you need an explanation on something, I'm happy to do that. Again, palette schemes, you can, again, do, go here and change palette schemes. Mine are all set up right now for my sample scheme. Um, so the sample scheme on those pallets again by the way is uh, all the pallets that you see around here and how they're set up so that when you open up this is what you get Now, what you're seeing on the screen in terms of the floor plan that that's all part of my my template uh, which we'll go into later but for now this is the basically the work environment um, what they talk about in terms of work environment and it, it I think you'll find it works works pretty well uh, certainly for you starting out and understanding um, what to go and look for uh, and where. Um, and then when, when I come back to you with the next video, it'll be on my template. Uh, we'll start to understand what I've done here with favorites and um, the whole layout of the organizer and all the different views. Um, I'll explain that in that next video. 
So for now, that's the work environment. If you have any questions, uh, email me. If you want um, a copy of this work environment, um, go ahead and email me and I'll send it to you. And by the way, the, the way to then, once you put it on your computer, put it in a file where you can find it, again, go to work environment. And right here under work environment, you can come in here and import. You just hit import and you go and find the, the file, wherever it is that you have set it up bring it in and then you can load it, um, select it, and it'll set up your screen this way. Again, a quick note that what you're looking at is a 27 inch screen. Um, if you have a smaller screen, you will probably want to adjust your windows uh, so that everything fits the way you'd like it to fit. What you do then is just save those schemes and then save that to a new profile. Um, happy to help you uh, understand that a little better with an email if you need to and um, look forward to seeing you on the next uh, video.